Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. One of the most popular films, Beetlejuice, has come to Broadway as a musical. It is directed by Alex Timbers, and playing the iconic role of Beetlejuice is Alec Brightman. And we caught up with the company on opening night. This has been three years of development, uh, being involved in the show for three years. I've never been involved with something this long and see it through to the end. Um, I feel very lucky because I know a lot of people, including myself, that do the readings and the workshops and then they, after two years, they go, thank you so much for your help, goodbye. And that they have every right to. I mean, I think, you know, there's some other things that are going on now that are helping out us actors, but it's so amazing to have Alex Timbers and all the people involved who are insanely loyal and wonderfully kind and collaborative and can see the improv writer sort of collaborative uh, equal in me. And we see each other. And I think it led to something really, really special. What's it like taking on this iconic role but making him your own? It's, you know, that was the, this is one of the easiest types of adaptations I could have done because the writers, Anthony and Scott and Eddie, they created a new world out of the characters that were from the source material. So it was easy to read the script and go, wow, this is something else. This is a new script. So we got to take it just from the words. Okay, he's this guy. What does he do? How does he sound? Uh, so it, it, it actually, what, what's wonderful about it is it's not the movie on, on stage. It is a different telling of something. So it's actually quite easy to sort of just jump into a, what feels like a new character. And I think it shows on stage. Alex Brightman, he is the best. He's like my brother, uh, my friend. Um, him and I in real life have a really good relationship. Uh, and uh, I think that translates on stage. And we have a great time out there every night. And yeah, I love working with him. He's very funny. Well, I remember coming up on the lift and he said, I'm taking one bow tonight and you're taking three. Because we both usually like to end up doing two. And I said, no, that's not how this works. Who told you that? And he said, he said, just trust me. And I said, are you sure? And he said, yeah, trust me. And I said, okay. And I, I came up and he took one bow and I take a bow and I take another bow. And um, he throws me these flowers. And so I, I understood. And then, and then I got them and I wasn't expecting it and I started crying. Because uh, that's always been my dream, to be Justin. leading Eddie on Broadway, it's always been my dream. You know what, I, I for me personally playing Adam, I, I love being being the, uh, the pinball in the pinball machine. You know, Barbara and I are not in the Tim Burton universe. So we're, we're the audience's eyes and ears. We're the ones seeing everything for the first time. Um, so <laughs> it's uh, eight times a week of having your heart rate up and uh, being terrified and, and, you know, meeting Beetlejuice for the first time. And, really serving as the audience for, for most of the evening. It's it's so fun because I feel them rooting for us. I feel them on our side, inside our story. Um, and it's uh, it's just a thrill. You share the stage a lot with your stage husband, Rob McClure. What's it like working with him? So much fun. He's so generous. Um, we're like a little old married couple. We did our opening night presents together. We're like, love the Maitlands. Um, and he's so inventive just he's so physically inventive so it's been fun to see what he comes up with and really great at improvising it's fun what are you enjoying the most of doing the show uh, my favorite thing is being scary I'm very scary what a great role you play what's it like sharing the stage along with Leslie Kritzer the two of you together I love her um, our relationship has just blossomed and exploded over the last three years She's uh, a joy and a partner and totally open to, you know, finding new moments, finding old moments, whatever. She's an absolute joy and super talented and amazing. And, uh, you know, I'm okay. I told her the other day, I was like, I'm happy to be like the Harvey Corman to your Carol Burnett. Like, it's a great feeling. It's a great feeling. It feels amazing. I'm like so thrilled. I mean, it's... It's just an amazing feeling. I'm in a brand new Broadway show. It's been a very long time. I think like 11 years since I originated a real role uh, on Broadway. And I'm just thrilled. I'm so excited. Working with Alex Timbers again, what is that experience like? He's the master. I mean, he trusts me. You know, the, the best directors, too, are the ones that trust their actors. They let them go and then they bring them back. 
but he doesn't try to micromanage me because he knows that I'm really good at what I do. And I'm very grateful for him. If, if, if not for him, I wouldn't have had the best two roles in my life in the past 10 years. So I owe him everything. Um, I've loved the, uh, the, actually the development process has been really interesting. You know, when I worked on something like Blay Blay Andrew Jackson, there's really an idea what you have and you sort of run towards that on this. It's, you know, we've had so many, sort of the evolution as we've been listening to the audience, this has been really a profound experience, a real great learning experience. It's been really exciting and it's, uh, to be in dialogue with the audience every night has been really cool. This is a relief <laughs> because it's been such a long time to get here. You know, I've been doing it for like two years with readings and labs and workshops and out of town and previews. And so it's been an amazing, amazing journey culminating with tonight and I couldn't be happier. I've been involved with this show since like the first reading I did I think it was three years ago maybe if my calculations are correct so this is really the fulfillment I mean we went away for two months it's big it feels really really exciting and when I first started in the show I didn't really do that much and now I do a lot more and I love it and I I treasure every second that I'm on the stage. I'm having the time of my life and I'm thrilled. We wrote a, we've written jokes and, and a script and a story but this cast is so incredible. And then getting to build these characters with them has just been the dream of a lifetime. It's just so much fun. Yeah. I mean, yeah, and getting to work with Alex Timbers, you know, it's like somebody we'd worked with on a show before and this is just that times a billion. Uh, it's, it's you know, he's just such an insane interpreter of theater and comedy and everything. He's also one of the loveliest men in the world besides being one of the most brilliant directors. That's right. He has this incredible knack of pointing all ships in the same direction and motivating everyone and to do their best work. It's really incredible. What was it like working on Beetlejuice? Uh, well, there's so many different styles, and so uh, the vocabulary is very, very eclectic, but it really rests on our incredible performers. You get to dance with Sophia Caruso and Alex Brightman and Leslie Kritzer, and their skill sets are so varied and so unique um, that I sort of started there, and we just uh, uh, went from there. We're always going for kooky, carnivali, sort of crossover, ska, rock music, but um, it was the script. You know, the script had uh, Beetlejuice was infinitely surprising with multiple personalities. I just wanted to write music for all those personalities, so I really got to uh, dabble in quite a lot of different genres. Happy